good evening dear friends so in this today's uh, session we are going to discuss some important aspects of indian banking like internet banking internet banking is known as e banking e banking portal brings together the best technology along with an easy navigation experience by the users a warm welcoming design and uh, greater simplicity than ever before so this is the era of uh, internet banking so we have certain features of this internet banking banking activities could be done by 24 bar 7 self one onboarding through customer information file debit card and credit card and loan account numbers so it will be easy for the users to go onboarding through their cif and other cards and even loan account numbers <coughs> so they could able to we could able to find the personalized dashboard 360 degree view is also one of the advantage is also one of the characteristics of uh, modern internet banking so we could able to view mini and detailed uh, statement inquiry by the users to so transfer of funds from one party to another party and even third party accounts within rbl bank or any other bank account via neft or dgs mpc mps etc set of standing instructions for all of the above funds transfers will be available frequently or immediately as per as as uh, transaction is completes transfer fund transfer to persons to customers okay and you can now transfer funds to mobile number without adding a beneficiary so that is one of the <coughs> major characteristics of modern e banking facility chart is also available with the uh banking personnel click to call demand account facilities also provided for the uh participants in the uh secondary market like uh secondary market uh, called uh, uh stock exchange credit and uh, credit card details will be available seamlessly responsible websites and adapts to pc tablets and uh, and even smartphones so we have the facility like to in bag in inbox to view banks communications and notifications as and when they send quick link and calendar for scheduled payment is also available it reminds us for the calendar of uh, events for the businessmen and the users and shop online at over 3000 websites make utility bill payments and much more via payment gateway pay your utility bills and even pay your direct tax through bill pay issue the check status also so these are the uh, features of e bank So now let's understand what are the e-banking, uh, e-banking wizard of India. In India, since 1997, when the ICICI Bank first offered internet banking services, today most new generation banks offer the same to other customers for their customers. In fact. almost all the banks now major commercial banks and even the private sector banks they provide internet banking services to their customers 
So number of popular services which are also rendered by the uh, banking system through e-banking facilities in India. So like ATM, telephone banking, electronic clearing cards, smart card, electronic fund transfer system, <coughs> electronic clearing uh, services is also rendered, mobile banking, tele-banking and doorstep banking. So when any person wants to open an account, they need not to visit the bank branch for opening an account. Okay, so doorstep banking is also available. So because of this uh, internet facilities. <coughs> so, so these are the services available through digital banking in our country to the customers, bill payment, fund transfer, Investment is also made easy. Suppose if you want to invest in the uh, stock business, so you need not to visit the bank branch to open an account and even uh, to consult the brokers to open a DMAT account, it will be easy. And shopping, okay, so these are the benefits that are available to the customers. So, different forms of e banking facilities which are also available through micro smart car, telebanking, and ATM, debit card, check, e-checks, okay, and uh, so different forms of electronic banking like uh, direct deposits, electronic bill payment, electronic check conversion, <coughs> cash value stored, etc. So number of benefits for the different stakeholders in the banking system, so because of the internet banking, what are the benefits to banks price okay with controlled cost so they could be able to reach out their customers customer base efficiency will be there customer service and satisfaction can be ensured and bank image is also <coughs> will be there so number of benefits to customers like bill payment Another important facilities that is being provided by the banking facilities to the customers. Okay, so there are new challenges which are also faced, which are also being faced. Okay, the customer support and even the laws are there. Laws are prevalent. Laws have been made in order to protect the interests of the customers, the clients, and as well as the banks. Security for the customers for their transactions and other challenges. So now let's begin with understanding e-banking at global perspective. The advent of internet has initiated an electronic revolution in the global banking sector. New banking intermediaries offering entirely new types of banking services so which have been emerged as a result of innovative e-banking models. Okay, the internet has emerged as one of the major distribution channels of number of e-banking products and services which are rendered by the banks, even US and other European countries. Initially, the banks promoted their core banking capabilities, that is products, services, advice through internet. Then they entered the e-commerce market as providers, distributors of their own products and services. Okay, so they used to consult the intermediaries through them. They used to popularize their products and services. But now, okay, one-to-one -one contact. Bankers will be having the direct contact. So more recently, Due to advances in internet security and the advent of uh, relevant protocols, banks have discovered that so they can play their primary role as financial intermediaries and facilitators of complete commercial transactions via internet banking system. Okay? The trend towards the electronic delivery of banking products and services is occurring partly 
as a result of customers demand and partly because of the increasing competition in the banking environment especially at the global banking system the internet has uh, changed the customers behavior who are demanding more customized products and services at the lower price that could be very easy okay so moreover new competition from pure online banks has put the profitability of even established bricks established banks and mortar banks under the pressure for traditional banks to define what niche market to serve and decide what products and services to be offered there is a need for a clear and concise internet commerce strategy banking transactions had uh, already started taking place through the internet way back to 1995 the internet promised an ideal platform for the commercial exchange helping banks to achieve new levels of efficiency in financial transactions by strengthening customer satisfaction customer relationship promoting price discovery and spend aggregation and increasing the reach out to the clients electronic finance offered considerable opportunities for the banks to expand their client base and rationalize their business while the customers received value in the form of savings in time and money so now let's understand the global e banking industry is covered by the following sections number 1 e banking scenario it discusses the actual state and prospects and issues related to e banking in asia with a focus on india us and europe it also deals with the impact of e banking on the banking industry structure e banking strategies it reveals the key strategies that banks must implement to derive the maximum value through the online channel okay so these strategies brings uh, guidance for those banks which are planning to build online businesses across the world e banking transactions it discusses how internet has radically transformed the banking transactions the section focuses on cross border transactions business to business transaction electronic bills payment presenting and uh, mobile payment in spite of all hype e banking has been a non shorter in several countries there is no barrier between the countries to e banking facilities e banking trends that discusses the innovation of new technologies in the banking sector so now let's understand the indian experience with regard to the e banking india is still in the early stages of e banking growth and development competition and changes in technology and lifestyle in the last 10 years have changed the face of banking the changes that have taken place impose on banks tough standards of competition and compliance of the global uh, strategies global uh, uh, laws the issue here is where does india stand in the scheme of e banking e banking is likely to bring a host of opportunities as well as unprecedented risks also available it is a fundamental nature of electronic banking especially in the country like india the impact of e banking in india is not at apparent many global re- research companies believe that e banking adoption in india in the near future would be slow compared to other major asian continents major asian countries competition increases from private banks and non banking financial institutions so so thus 
there is a tough competition in providing the uh, products and services to the clients across the globe. Despite the global economic challenges facing the IT software and service sector, the outlook for the Indian industry, banking industry remains optimistic. Of course, the Reserve Bank of India has also set up a working group on e-banking to examine the different aspects of e-banking for the benefit of banking sector. The group focused on three major uh, areas of e-banking like technology and security issues, legal issues, regulatory and uh, supervisory issues. RBI has accepted the guidelines of the group and they provide a good insight into the security requirements of the e-banking. Fifth, the importance of the impact of technology, information security cannot be doubted. Technological development have been one of the key drivers of the global economy and represent an instrument that if exploited well can boost the efficiency and uh, competitiveness among the banking banks in our country. However, the rapid growth of the internet has introduced a completely new level of security related problems. The problem here is that since the internet is not a regulated technology and it is readily accessible to millions of people, there will always be for people who want to use it to make illicit gains from it. The security issue can be addressed at three levels. The first is the security of customer's information as it is sent from the customer's PC to the web server. The second is the security of the environment in which the internet server and customer information database reside. So third, security measures must be in place to prevent authorized users for attempting to log into online banking section of the website. From a legal perspective, security procedure adopted by the banks for authenticating users needs to be recognized by law as a substitute for signature. In India, the Information, Techn Info Information Technological Act of 2000 authenticating the electronic records. Any other method used by banks for authentication should be recognized as a source of legal risk. Regarding the regulatory and supervisory issues, only such banks which are licensed and supervised and have a physical presence in India will be permitted to offer e-banking products to residents of India with institutions becoming more and more global and complex the nature of risks in the international financial system has changed the regulations the regulators themselves who will now be paying much more attention to the qualitative aspects of uh, risk management have recognized now Though the Indian government has announced the cyber laws, most corporate are not clear about them and feel they are insufficient for the growth of e-commerce. Lack of consumer protection laws is another issue that needs to be tackled if people have to feel more comfortable about transacting online. Taxation of e-commerce transactions has been one of the most debated issues. So that are yet to be resolved by our country and most of the countries also. The explosive growth of e-commerce has led many executives to question how their companies can properly administer taxes on internet sales without sales tax. Online sellers get a price adva advantage over brick and mortal companies <coughs> which e-commerce has been causing loss of tax revenues to the government also. Many politicians continue to insist that 
the net must remain tax free to ensure continuous growth of the banking sector and that collecting the sales tax on net commerce could restrict its expansion tenth a permanent ban on custom duties on electronic transmissions international tax rules that are neutral simple and certain and the simplification of state and local sales taxes <coughs> the central board of direct taxes which submitted its report in september 2001 recommended that e-commerce transactions should be taxed just like traditional commerce also reserve bank of india is about to become the first government owned digital signature certificate certifying authority in india the move is uh, expected to initiate the electronic transaction process in the banking sector and will have four reaching results in terms of cost and speed of transactions between government and even the government owned public sector banks so thus efficiency growth and the need to satisfy growing uh, technology survey customer base or three clear rash rationals for implementing e banking system in our country the four forces like customers technology convergence and globalization have the most important effects on the indian financial sector and these challenges are facing banks to uh, redefine their business models and integrate technology into all aspects of banking operations so with this so let us conclude thank you very much for listening have a good day